everyone. This is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko naman sa inyo about motion graphs. So meron akong three-part series for uh, this tutorial. So unahin ko muna rito yung position versus time. So ang mga motion graphs, madalas nyo po ma-encounter sa physics. So tuturuan ko kayo kung ano yung mga values na pwede nyo makuha from motion graphs. So meron tayo ditong uh, motion graph ng position versus time. So pag sinabi natin position, this could be um, also called as displacement versus time graph. Or minsan, this is also like the distance versus time graph. So for example, meron tayo ditong graph na yung position natin is nasa y-axis and then yung ating time is along the x-axis. So let's say, kailangan natin i-interpret yung graph na to. So yung downward line, ang ibig sabihin nito actually, you have a decreasing value for your slope. Okay, So sa math, meron tayong tinatawag na slope. So yung slope natin, nakukuha natin siya uh, by using um, this formula. So you have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, okay, so try natin dito ngayong gamitin itong slope formula para dito sa graph na to. Okay, so kung meron kayong dito dalawang points, okay, so like in this case, meron tayong given na point na 0 second and 26 uh, meters. And then yung second point natin, meron tayong 8 seconds and 2 meters. So therefore, ito ang ating x sub 1. Ito yung ating y sub 1. And then this one is your x sub 2. Ito yung ating y sub 2. Okay, so substitute natin yung mga values dito. So y sub 2 natin, that's 2 meters. Minus your uh, y sub 1, which is 26 meters. So divided by x sub 2 na 8 seconds. Minus yung x sub 1 natin na 0. Okay. So, makukuha natin dito na value is negative 24 meters divided by 8 seconds. So, yung negative 24 divided by 8 will give you negative 3. Okay. And napapansin nyo, yung unit natin is meter per second. So, therefore, itong negative 3 meters per second, this one represents actually your velocity. Okay, so, yan po yung velocity ng ating body. So, kung meron kayong motion graph at given kayo ng position versus time graph, kapag nakocompute nyo yung slope, ibig sabihin ang kinocompute nyo doon actually is the velocity of your object. So, if you notice, ano, negative yung value niya rito. Okay, kasi ibig sabihin, your object has, um, it's moving in the opposite direction. Okay? So, kaya downward yung kanyang slope. Okay, so, tingnan naman natin itong next example natin. So dito sa next example, meron tayong um, again two points. So kung ko-compute natin yung slope ng line na to. Okay, so meron tayong 0 and 5 meters and then 5 seconds and 25 meters. So again, kung gusto natin malaman kung ano yung velocity ng object na to, okay, represented by this graph, gamitin lang natin yung slope formula. So again, ang slope formula natin is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so kung i-assum natin itong first point natin dito na itong ating x sub 1, y sub 1, and then ito yung ating x sub 2, y sub 2, okay, substitute natin siya sa values natin dito. So y sub 2 mo is 25 meters minus uh, x sub 1 which is uh, 5 meters, okay, divided by x sub 2 natin is 5 seconds, and then yung x sub 1 natin is 0. Okay, so therefore, yung ating velocity is equal to 25 minus 5 is 20 meters divided by 5 seconds. So 20 divided by 5 gives you 4. So this is 4 meters per second. So therefore, yung velocity ng object na to is positive 4 meters per second. So it's probable na your object is moving to the right. Okay, so ganyan. So yan po yung... Um, kung mapapansin nyo rin dun sa graph natin, is going upwards. So, kaya positive din yung value ng ating uh, velocity. Okay? So, sana pa nakatuloy ito ng malaki sa inyo. So, panoorin nyo po yung susunod na video ko. So, sa next video ko naman, i-discuss ko naman dun yung motion graph na meron tayong velocity versus time.